Paris Fashion Week, here we go. Wow, shoes and everything. And a bag, honey? Where? Babes, I'm, I'm a little shookington. Wow, Dior went extra hard. Like, extra, extra hard. Look, it took me two seconds to deconstruct everything. I didn't even take no pictures of the cute packaging or nothing. I just went straight to the goodies. But these earrings are so cute. Look how cute these are. I think this is the front. I think the small pearl goes in the front and then the back is supposed to kind of hang out like in the back of your ear. And then they gave me some really cute little bracelets. Some stunners, girl. Oh, and they clear? Who doesn't look clear frames? These are super cute. Hey guys, I'm Emily Blair. Guess what? I just got this hotel for 15% off. Don't tell anyone. I stole the discount myself. <laughs> Morning, babe. Mm -hmm. Say hi to the vlog. No, no, no. My face is dusty in my nails. <laughs> same, babe, same. Hello. Um, hi, just this blouse, please. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Have a good one. Thank you. Hopefully the breakfast here isn't too French, if you know what I mean, jelly bean. You like yogurt, right babes? There's a waffle on here somewhere. Okay babes, the American breakfast and Belgian waffles. Make sure you get me chicken sausage, honey. Oh yeah. Love these. It's actually really cool. They're like window blinds. So happy today's sunny. Oh God, the first day was terrible. But our bathroom, Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You guys, so the water was shut off last night and like the hotel didn't even think to tell us. So on a scale of one to bougie, I had to wash my face with sparkling water. <laughs> no regrets. So whenever I wash my face, I do it for exactly one minute. And a fun tip that I actually recently learned from LA Beautyologist on Twitter, you guys know I'm always shouting out some Twitter estheticians. You seem the Fresh Prince theme song in your head while washing your face, and that's one minute. Now this is the story all about how my pores got lifted upside down. I'll tell you how to keep the friends of a town called Abby. Definitely go for some moisture this morning. My fresh rose mask. So we're actually in Paris after getting here from Milan. And when I was on the plane, I was like, I was crying about how I left my vitamin nectar spray at home and fresh messaged me and they were like, we'll send you some, we'll have it expedited. It didn't make it to Milan, but I just thought that was so sweet. I bet you it probably got there now. At this rate, I could just go to the store and get some, but I thought that was really sweet. It's a thought that counts. And in case you're wondering what mask I'm wearing, it is this. Good morning. I hope these are not eggs. These look like mashed potatoes. What's this, babes? What's what? Is this the eggs? Waffle time. It's glam time. You guys, look at how gorgeous the sunrise looks. And the view from our hotel. It's just so pretty. It's not much, but the hotel, the property is just really pretty. I wanna look at your outfit. It's in yeah, the closet. Right now in your dress. No. Oh, it's right here. You know. It's on the table in the bedroom. Okay, Daniel, give us some of this look today. So this is. You're giving me really cool, chic. Seasons old. 
Okay, a little vintage. Oh, Prada shoes. Okay. And socks from Target. Okay, Target. Just keep it real. <laughs> So we annoying. Switch this camera on Taco Bell chocolate. Oh, okay. Well, Amazing. don't mind if I do. It's all Dior, including the shoes. Oh my God. Dior came through. Best showroom I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Daniel, so you have to formally introduce yourself because my followers don't know you. I hey know guys. you, but they don't know you. I'm, or they might actually. Oh, I'm Makeup Artist Daniel Martin. I'm a Dior brand ambassador and I also consult for Jessica Alba's brand, Honest Beauty. I kind of represent the brand on a artistry level. So Peter Phillips, who you'll probably meet today. Yeah. So he's amazing. He's so nice. He's really taken and elevated the heritage brand to a whole other level because he's really created interesting formulations and interesting innovations with the makeup. I can always do a handheld. No, Daniel okay. has an no, inside I, I, voice. I, I, Not everyone is as yeah, loud as me. That's fine. So tell us what the. I just what I like. <laughs> you can lay down on the wig. You can lay down on the bundle. So Daniel, I'm curious. What's the highlight of your career working for a beauty brand like Dior? The highlight of my career is being able to wear clothes that I probably couldn't afford. <laughs> Let's Amen. keep it real. Amen, honey. Keeping it real. Amen. Where are you from originally? Seattle. Oh, okay. I'm a West Coast boy. Nice. And you're from LA? Yeah. Oh, nice. So wait, East Coast or West Coast though? I live in New York. No, I mean like, what do you prefer? Oh, There's that's only good one. Question. Everyone only prefers one. East Coast. New York is home. <sighs> Oh, cancel, bro. Just kidding. But you've been in like three time zones. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I. It's it's a struggle, honey. Like it is a real struggle. New York, and then you come home. I was home for like four days. Then I came to Milan. Now I'm here. Like we just knock it all out. Ain't nobody got time to be doing it six months at a time. Spread it out. Get yeah. it out the way. My ideal world, if I'm traveling, is like one trip, three week break. One trip, three week break. It doesn't, it doesn't always work out that way. But like. That's in my smart, in my head that'd be perfect or like I do two countries max and then I take a three week break and then two week or um, you know like the two trips right. like just do it in a chunk and then take a couple weeks for myself because honestly I just miss my bed like don't you just miss right. your bed sometimes? yeah I miss my bed I miss my cat I, I was just gonna food. say do you have pets yeah you totally strike me as a cat guy I don't know why that's interesting I don't know why I don't know why I knew I was like you miss your cats don't you when's your I've never even met him and I knew he had cats. That must be a Leo thing. I don't know what the hell uh, that was. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> okay. So Virgo and Leo is good together. We do, yes. There's only like really one sign that I really don't care for. They won't be named in today's vlog, but we will be blasting oh, all on no, Twitter no, no, next no, no, week. No, 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 You better spill the tea though. Who, what? <laughs> okay. I don't know who doesn't get a... To be fair, I'm a little sour because my ex-husband was a Sag, but that's because uh, that, he's ex for a reason. Well, and you know, Sag men and Leo women is like oil and water. That's to, interesting. We, we just gonna have to pray next time <laughs> we even talk about these creatures yeah. of men. Trifling. Trifling is the exact word. But anyway, we like Virgos and we love, I love Cancers. Sorry, if you're a Sag, look, I love you. If you're a woman Sag, I love you. If you're a male, I don't know. There may not be much hope. Well, how do you feel about male Pisces? Dennis is a male Pisces. My boyfriend's a male Pisces. Oh. oh. <laughs> da, 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 Ooh, they are some emotional creatures. They are some emo. Oh my God. Yeah. He is so, very so sensitive. You guys are very yin yang then. No, we are. We yeah, we definitely balance each other out in so many ways. But if I had to change, well, I can't say that I, I want to change someone because you know everybody is who they are. But like, if I could change one thing. I would just wish that he would not be so keen to like, cause I'm very like, if something bothers me, I'll tell you right then and right, there. Right. I don't really feel like I'm a blunt person. Cause I will think before I, like I'll say it out of love, but like even then he'll take it really personal. And I'm like, we but wasn't even going there. I find that people that are drawn to people like you mm -hmm. is because they don't have the confidence to say that themselves. Or they see qualities. I don't know. Ah, he's very, he can be very stern too. Like, does he I, call you not... out on you being so upfront? No, I feel like he holds things in a lot. So that's where we, oh, okay. yeah, that because I'm like, he'll. Because my like, husband's a Scorpio. Oh, so what do they do? Well, Scorpios are kind of the same. They're very, very sensitive. Blind. Oh, very, Lord. Like, 
indecisive. Oh God, that's like, annoying. So don't you feel like those personality types, like they hold a lot of their emotions mm -hmm. in and then out of nowhere they blow up on you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Yeah. Dennis shoots my pictures oh. and stuff. So, and he's kind of really good. He's learned a lot of stuff. So it's been like quite a journey of like mm -hmm. teaching him. First and foremost, like about the social media world and then how to navigate through it because it definitely takes a special type of man to be yeah. with a woman in this industry, the industry that I'm in, so. Yeah. He's handling it that quite is, well. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And he's, it's great that he's able to share. Yeah, this whole yeah, exactly. With you too. Exactly, because like trips are, are great, but like you can't really enjoy them unless you're with someone that you love, yeah. you know? Or At least every so often. No, it does get very lonely. It gets very lonely. Like, okay, so let's talk about your eyes. It's actually Pat. <laughs> and I was gonna save my lip for my favorite lip gloss. Oh. Mirrored. Yeah. It's my favorite lip gloss. That looks good on you Even too. with no lip, like no makeup, like yeah. just on its own. It's a beautiful I color. I love the stuff. Those glosses are hard to find in the States. They are? Yeah. yeah. Guess you better get them while you can. This is my second one. And then I'm pretty sure I got like another backup because I love this gloss so much. What kind of tea is this? Sharing the tea. What kind of tea is this? It's his really sweet Sasha. Oh, you just, Sasha oh, it tea. was just the prom at the moment. I thought he was really about to sip the tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh she's sipping. We're in Paris, fam. Like, I'm just. I have no complaints. Daniel, mm -hmm. tell us about the backstage looks. Did you have any hand in curating? Oh, so is it gonna be a surprise for both of us? Well, I know what the look that Peter did. Okay. Um, I don't know. Oh, so I can't show you on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, teasers, y'all, we get some teasers. So that's the look backstage. Whoa. It's like this really cool graphic. She doesn't look very happy though. <laughs> she looks a little hungry. She's like, what she time is lunch, y'all? <laughs> right. What time is lunch? Oh, their food backstage wow. is good too, so we'll have it. <laughs> Great tip for um, uh, a makeup finish. Uh huh. You no, know, you got uh, your your puffs. You okay. Got, this one is a silk puff. Okay. You also cotton puffs. Most people don't know that there's silk and cotton. Most yeah. people don't know the difference. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if you want to have like a like a glowy makeup finish, with uh huh. Cotton, you use a, a silk puff. Got it. Finish, you take a cotton one. Got it. it. See, I didn't even realize I was accidentally doing that because I do notice that some puffs, mm -hmm. the ones that are really stiff, they do look more matte. Matte, yeah. I just learned. I just learned something new. That was an accidental tip. I've been doing it that way the whole time. Yeah. I mean, I prefer this. I, mean, I do. I do prefer my makeup to look a little bit more lived in. Yeah. I just learned something new. Jaggy, 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 jaggy. No, she's here. She's arrived. She's arrived. I know. We've been here for a little bit. 
A letter addressed to Madame. I know. I know. What the hell is this? Is this a gift certificate or something? A free stay? A membership awards card? Where can it be? The invitation somewhere? Wow, this is the invite. To? The invite to the show. Oh, that's what you needed. Look how gorgeous this is and how well put together this is. I'm tweeting this for my grave, honey. She's dead, RIP. Oh, today was so amazing. I'm tired, but honestly, the show was amazing. The experience was amazing. Dior was amazing. Team was amazing. Dennis was amazing. He didn't get to go to the show though, which is kind of sad. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's helped get me to where I am. It's moments like these where I feel like, wow. That's really my life. But yeah, the show was dope. Like videos don't even do it justice. That show was very well put together. It was a beautiful, beautiful Emmy award winning production. This day has been so nonstop. It started at like, I don't know, 8 a.m. And that was me struggling to get up. We went to the show. After the show, we had lunch because we were starving. Then we came back for like an hour-ish. Not even that. We were probably, gonna, well, yeah, like an hour, well, an hour, give or take. Then we had a little cocktail hour. And now I'm finally in bed. About to snatch off this big honey and go to bed. Good night. I will talk to you guys on the next video. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys soon. Good night.